This is Mitchell from Gamefront. And this is Shadows of the Damned. This video will cover Act 4 3 Ghost Hunter. Alright, so you're gonna head into the darkness, and there's gonna be three orbs that you're gonna have to hit. The first one is gonna be right when you turn this corner. And then you continue going down, and you're gonna need to get out of the dark, or you're gonna go to the next uh, corridor, and you're gonna hit the goat head right here to get a safe point to get out of the darkness. So let your meter restore, and then you're gonna turn around and go straight back into the darkness, and it should be on the right side. Get back into a safe spot. And then the next one is going to be. Well, first, you're going to get this red gem. And then it's right there. Yep. And then that should get rid of the demon cubes. So you're going to head back, backtrack. There we are. Where was I? Ah, yes. The Huntress had insulted the Lord of the Dead, and now his eyes glowed. Some say from rage, others from passion. You are bolder than the other Hunters, he said, but even a woman's pride can be broken. There was a flash of steel and a spray of red as both the Huntress's arms tumbled from her body. She screamed. Tears welled up in her eyes. Never had she known such pain. But she would not be deterred and continued walking toward her adversary. With a devilish grin, the Lord of the Dead lopped off the Huntress's legs one at a time. Thwoop! Thwoop! Again she screamed in pain as her torso flopped onto the floor. She could feel his breath as he hovered over her. I could take you right here and now. <laughs> The fists on her severed arms clenched in resistance. Through her tears, she replied, You might take me, but you will never have me.
need Same deal with these little more electricity shots. guys again. Blow up the you're gonna use your uh, explosive shot from the hot boner to get rid of these uh, pillars or obelisks, whatever you want to call them. Um, just make sure you keep an eye out on the electricity guys so you can see when they're about to fire. Usually the they'll do that. They'll kind of the electricity will build up and they'll shoot their hands forward like that. So just be on the lookout for that and be ready to roll at a moment's notice. Once you get rid of all the obelisks, you can just pop them in the head a couple times and move on. What happened to the Huntress? Well, so impressed was the Lord of the Dead that he put her back together and made her his queen. Time and again he killed her, just to take pleasure in her proud refusal to be dead. But they say she's never stopped trying to claw her way back to the world of the living, where she knows she truly belongs. Isn't that a great story? Her courage is what inspired me to seek my own freedom. <laughs> she sounds like one hell of a woman. Another story time coming up, but unfortunately we're almost out of time here, so that's going to have to be saved for the next part of this walkthrough. Thanks for watching our walkthrough for Shadows of the Dam, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.